Welcome to our work day. Tanya and I are so pleased that you're joining us. So let's warm up and we're going to have a great workout. In through the nose, inhale and exhale. And again. And exhale. And let's bring the ear to the shoulder. Reach and down, other side. and the shoulders, circle, and down, and reverse it. And let's reach up, and down, and together. And push the hands together and reach. And side, and down, repeat. And again. Now we're going to lift the leg and balance. Place the foot down. And let's reach all the way to the back, pressing the heel. The front knees over the ankle. And now let's raise the toe toward the shin. Really pull it up. The back is flat. Stretch and stretch, get ready. Now we're going to balance by lifting the abdomen. And place the foot down. And all the way back, press the heel. Shoulders are down, chest is lifted. And let's take it to the back, the toe. and feel the stretch in the back of the legs. Face the front. Fly back down, hold it, and reach, and reach. And come up slowly, head last. Once again, flat back, hold the abdomen in, and reach, and reach. All the way up. Circle the arms, circle. Circle, make it big. If you'd like to, balance, reach. And let's lunge down, press the knee back, and change. Hold it to the center, all the way up. Let's bring the arm all the way to the back, and the other arm. Clasp the hands in the back and press, and we're ready for the workout. Working the pectoral muscles is important for your strength and also for your um, posture, for your appearance, but I want you to do it very correctly. So, Tanya, we're going to do a reverse fly, and I want to point out some of the features of this exercise. Tanya is using uh, five pound weights and she's starting with the arms just uh, kind of over the shoulders and coming out, it's like she um, has the arms straight but not locked. And coming up, it's like she's going around a barrel. So press and notice that her back is pressed down and that the knees are bent or you could even pull the knees to the chest. Okay, good. Always, the form is the most important thing, much more important than the repetitions, because you want to have a safe, productive workout. Okay, down for two at the bottom. And halfway up only. 
Now the weights are not above my shoulders, but kind of in line with the shoulders. Control it, keep pressing the back down. The arms are lifting because the pectoral muscles are contracting. Slowly all the way up, one, two, three, and four, and down. You can always start with heavier weights and then graduate to lighter ones as uh, you become fatigued. But make sure that you don't cut yourself uh, short on this. You want to make sure you get the full benefit. Just at the bottom, very small movements, up and down. So it's almost like a pulse. The back is down, the shoulders are pressed down. And again, the arms are just slightly bent and extend as much as possible without locking the elbows. We're coming up in two counts. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's slow it down. One, two, three, four. And stay in place for three, two, one, and press. And let's go ahead and put the weights down and sit up and let's kind of stretch back, move the head from side to side. And we're going to move right along into the uh, tricep exercise. Now, again, you want to be flat on your back. You can have your um, knees bent, bring them to your chest or cross one leg over the other. In any case, um, the shoulders, the back, are flat with the weights. There's a very particular way to do this that uh, works. So you want to have the arms fairly far back, and when you bend the elbows and straighten them, they simply don't move. So you find a position, and up, down, and up. Now I find sometimes when I start this exercise, I'm a little shaky and then I kind of work into it. And down, and press. Make sure that your hands are somewhat relaxed. Down, and as you extend, you are in effect reaching back. And reach. Keep going. Down and reach. Check your back. Make sure that your ankles are in front of the knees. If you have a mirror, take a look. Make sure that the elbows are at least over your shoulder, if not behind them. And reach. This is working the back of the arms, the triceps, and there's no reason uh, to feel uncomfortable about that part of your body because Doing these exercises will strengthen the muscles, of course, as well as the bones. And then if you have some additional body fat, well, you deal with that by doing aerobic exercise, get the body fat down, you get the muscles developed, and you're all set to go. Okay, let's stay at the bottom for two, and two. And up slowly, and with control. Last time. Okay, let's put the weights down. Come to a sitting position. Now here's an option. If this is awkward for you, we'll just continue doing the previous exercise. So we're going to lift the body and bend and straighten. Bend. You're bending the arms. That's where the action is. So don't forget to bend the arms. And here's another version, it's with the legs extended. Down, and up, down. Bending the arms. And yet, here's one more version. Sitting down, taking it all the way down to the elbows, and pressing up. All the way down to the elbows, and press. <laughs> all the way down, use your abdomen, move with your chest, 
one more. Okay, let's take it back down. As we did, down and up. If your arms are a little shaky, see if you can just work through it. Okay, last two. And last one. And let's bring it down and we're done. Go ahead and stretch. The shoulders are down, the elbow is pointing forward. All right, let's stand and work the biceps. And once again, I'm going to, Tanya, come on over here and let's show them how it's done. <laughs> okay, so if I had my finger here, she would bring, have your palms facing in. Palms facing, she would bring it all the way up and squeeze at the top. That's it, and all the way down. Now do it again. All the way up and squeeze. Down and squeeze. Good. Now you see her elbows are pressed to her sides. Shoulders down and down. And now here's another variation would be to have the palms facing the ceiling. And again, if I had my finger there, right where I have it with Tanya, you would squeeze the fingers. See how the wrist also is coming up right in front of the shoulder. That's important. Thank you. So we have the palms facing the ceiling. The knees are slightly relaxed. And up. Relax the fingers, press the shoulders down. And up. Okay, now stop in the middle, turn them over, and we're going to work the wrist. Down, up, down, up. Keep the wrist about elbow high. We're working through the forearm. Hold it, bring the whole thing up and down, just to the middle. Up, using the abdomen, lifting the chest, tucking under, squeeze at the top. Make sure you're using heavy enough weights. Let's turn it over, up for two. Down, and squeeze, and more. As if I had my finger there and you were squeezing, make sure the, the uh, hands are somewhat relaxed. Same thing to the side, single. Down, up, and squeeze, and down. Full range of motion, all the way down. And then at the top, you contract. Stay at the top for three. One, two, three, down, and lift. Now we're using five pounds, but we've been known to use eight pounds, right? Or more. Again, sometimes the biceps are stronger and you can use heavier weights. So I suggest that you have a few different sets. And actually some days you'll feel stronger than others. Palms in, down, and up, and squeeze. Down, shoulders down, chest lifted, fingers relaxed. Palms facing the body, palms facing the ceiling. Squeeze at the top. Stay at the top for three. One, two, three, all the way down and pull. Remember your elbows are right at your side. Keep the movement very precise. Abdomen is in. One, two, three, and down. Okay, let's put them down for just a moment. Stretch. 